Before discussing on how to do the monitoring in Kubernetes, you need to understand what you can monitor. You can monitor node level matrices such as number of nodes, how many of them are healthy, and the performance matrices such as CPU, memory, network, and disk utilization. Pod level matrices such as number of pods, performance matrices of each pod like CPU and memory. Kubernetes does not come with an inbuilt monitoring solution. We need a solution to monitor these matrices, store and provide analytics around them. There are many open source and proprietary monitoring tools available such as Metric Server, Prometheus, Elasticsearch, Viewscope, Datadog, Dynatrace and there are more. For CKAD exam, you only need to know about the Metric Server. Kubernetes Metric Server is a cluster-wide aggregator of all resource usage data. Its duty is to collect the matrices from kubelet on each node, such as nodes and ports, CPU and memory utilization. All these matrices are available in Kubernetes through the Metrics API. Metric Server is an in-memory solution. It cannot be used to view the historical performance data. If you want historical monitoring data, you need to check other solutions that we have discussed a little earlier. Installation of the metric server is easy. You can go into the metric server's GitHub repository and follow the instructions there. Here you need to execute this kubectl apply command, which set up and configure everything required to set up the metric server in your Kubernetes cluster. After installation of the metric server, it will take few minutes to collect the data. Then you can check the node matrices using kubectl top node command. You can see the CPU and memory for each node with the exact values as well as as a percentage. You can check the pod matrices using kubectl top pods command. In that case, you can see the CPU and memory for each pod. These matrices are useful when troubleshooting weird resource utilization cases. During the exam, you will be asked to find out the pod name, which uses the most of the memory, most of the CPU and more. So don't forget these commands. You must know these commands for the exam. Other than the top commands, there are some Kubernetes constructs which uses the metric server matrices. Here is an example. If you look at this diagram, when you have deployments, replication controllers, or stateful sets, we usually have a fixed number of replicas in it. Actually, we can automatically scale the number of replicas based on the metric server pod matrices such as CPU utilization using horizontal pod auto scalers. Horizontal pod auto scaler can be created for a deployment with this command kubectl auto scale deployment and the deployment name. Then you can define how many minimum replicas you want, how many maximum replicas you want using minus minus min and minus minus max uh, configuration parameters. After that, you can define when you want to add the replica or remove a replica from this auto scaling group using the minus minus CPU percent flag. In this case, if the CPU percentage is above 80% of these ports, it will keep adding the ports. And then if it is less than that, it will remove the ports. And the number of replicas will vary from minimum of five replicas and up to the maximum of 10 replicas. You can get the horizontal port auto scalers using kubectl get hpa command. And then you can delete the auto scalers using kubectl delete hpa and the uh, auto scaler name. 